balance, and I teach math here at Mona Shores Middle School. I teach Math 8 and Math Essentials. I'm going to focus mostly here on Math 8, but if you have me for Math Essentials, you can contact me and I can give you more information. Uh, in Math 8, we follow the 8th grade Common Core, and so I'd like to show you some of the problems that we'll be solving here and the types of problems that we do here in Math 8. So here are some fun problems that we'll do. We do a lot with exponents and scientific notation. And I'll show you how to calculate some numbers with enormous values, like the number of stars in the Milky Way galaxy, or the one on the bottom, the number of mouth germs that are living here at Mona Shores Middle School. We also do work solving equations in eighth grade. In seventh grade, you solve simple two-step equations, but here we take it way farther. And we'll solve equations like this one that you can see on the screen. It looks nasty, it looks scary, but I promise with a few quick steps we can solve and find out that that uh, answer, the value for x, has to be negative 4. Uh, and I, I will show you how to do that throughout the course of the year. We also focus a lot on linear relationships in eighth grade math. And here's the type of problem that we do. Uh, a problem like this one where I say printer A has a certain cost and the ink costs a certain amount. And then I give you those same values for printer B and the question is which one should you choose? And you will answer that by writing equations, making data tables, making graphs, and you'll find that the answer is it depends on what your needs are, and we'll talk about that. But uh, we, we'll do a lot with linear relationships like this printer problem throughout the year. Another topic, and one of my favorites, is working with the Pythagorean theorem. And so one example is this one. We'll show you how to use the Pythagorean theorem to prove why it's easier for a baseball player to steal second base than it is to steal third base. And I bet your parents all know what the Pythagorean theorem is. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And by the end of the year, that will make total sense. And one last major topic that we cover here in Math 8 is volume. And so we'll calculate the volume of lots of objects. And we can solve some interesting problems like this one. Which ice cream cone would give you more ice cream? So if I give you the size of the cone, um, the height and the dimensions of that cone, you can calculate which one would be the better buy for you, which one would give you the most ice cream. So in Math 8, we have just a few basic expectations. Uh, that When students come into the room, they need to be ready to do a few things. And one of them is I want you to be ready to come in and talk to each other about your mathematical ideas. I want you to be engaged with me, engaged with each other. I don't want you to just sit there by yourself, but I want you to be able to talk about what you're thinking. I also want you to be able to listen. Listen to the ideas of your partners, listen to what I'm saying, but uh, be open to other ideas. I want you to be ready to work hard every day. Uh, I don't feel that I give a lot of homework, but I want to use these 60 minutes we have every day, and I want to have you working really hard during class every single day. I want you to ask questions. Please feel comfortable asking questions in class. I'm also available at lunch and after school almost every day. So if you're confused about something and want to see me for some extra help, come on in anytime. And finally, maybe most importantly, I want you to come in ready to treat others the right way. We want everyone to feel comfortable and safe here in the classroom. <laughs>